Hi everyone, it's Christy Funk from ChristyFunk.com and today I'm going to continue my journey of, my intimate journey of where I'm at right now on this thing that I'm going through which really isn't just one thing, it's the one thing that just kind of opened everything else up for me and it's been, wow, what a magical, miraculous ride it's been for the last couple of months and really for the last 43 years, but all of it is just opening up and I know that it's my work of several different things and I'll have to do a video just on that, but um, surrendering, really being aware, observing, finding out where I've been accountable, looking at the choices and the patterns in my life, learning to love myself, learning to release, really learning to dip into spirit, this whole dance with God and, and the universe has been very, very just peaceful and loving. So with, I've been like researching all of this stuff with like cosmos and, and what's been having, happening cosmically because last Friday was intense. There was a super moon, there was a total solar eclipse and the spring equinox. Like this doesn't happen, it's so rare. So it's very powerful. I had a lot of things going on last week and mm -mm, you know, just like all of it, it's just been, but I've been very fully aware of my process in this. So one of the things I came across with a teacher um, that was saying how we needed to revisit 1997, uh, March of 1997, and I was racking my brain thinking, what did I do back then? So on Saturday morning, I woke up and I grabbed my box with my journals and I found it, I found the journal entries and I was blown away. It was like instant. I knew exactly what was going on. So the reason we are looking back at 19, March of 1997 is that was something that we would be working on this whole period. It was our lesson, our challenge. It was where we needed to work on. And in order for us to choose differently, we needed to see what we were doing there and how we could choose and choose differently and choose for our higher purpose and our highest good. So first of all, when I was reading the entries, I'm like, I don't know who that girl is. I don't like her. And I would never invite her to my goddess birthday party ever. Like she was icky, heavy, sad, depressed, resentful, angry, could never assume responsibility, was blaming everyone else. And the key in this one, for those of you who've seen my video on my child molestation and sexual abuse video, it was very, very evident that I was searching for a man to heal me, for a man to love me so that I would feel loved. And all of my worthiness came from males. And that was, I was just blown away at what I was doing on a personal intimate level this was all emotional because it wasn't about like physical stuff but I was really just sad and and felt like I had a gap in my heart that I wasn't whole and complete and the reason I'm sharing this is because I could see the evolution of who I was then to now so for those of you that are working on things and don't think things are happening quick enough I'm just here to tell you that the journey is so worth it. Who I am now is so completely different and who I'm about to become in next week and the weeks after and in this next phase of my life is even more phenomenal than who I even can possibly imagine. So that girl that was curled up in a ball on her, on her bed just really putting her self-worth in the value of how males saw me is no longer and spiritually physically emotionally um completely different i just feel so much grounded and so much peace and so much ease in my life it's like all this space opened up and i can really dip into loving myself so radical self-love was a program i created after my separation because i figured oh i, I really need to love myself that's the ticket and as you can see through my evolution, it, it was an onion. I was peeling layers. 
and I'm now in that juicy middle part of the onion and it is sweet it has been very hard and intense and but worth it and so take a look at where wh what was great is because I was able to look and see where I was the asshole in my life like how I was not showing up and just stay at it just stay at it however you can be aware of who you are in your own life hold yourself accountable take a look at it and be very very honest and raw rip it to shreds and then start to getting to the beauty of who you are if you're blaming other people if you're objectifying other people if you're using other people using your anger your pain and unleashing it on the world you're gonna get more of the same and I'm not interested in that anymore I'm just really honing in on this light nurturing it so that it can go out into the world the way it's supposed to be it's not something I'm gonna hold on to and squeeze and choke to death for my consumption so take a look at that it's I just was so excited I was such a jerk I don't know how people could stand me um, well and actually because nobody knew this is all my inside. This is behind closed doors. On the outside, it was like just vivacious. I was traveling. I was, I had great jobs. I was going to school. I was meeting great people. I was dancing. I did the whole nine yards, but on the inside, I was in a lot of pain. And you can have a victory story too. So I'm excited. Just don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel. I'm getting more exciting and fun. I and learning how to take my lemons and making lemonade out of them and I want you to also you are not the victim switch that shit around and come back into that middle part of the onion because it's so sweet so have a blessed day and subscribe on my youtube channel you can visit me on facebook and christyfunk.com many blessings